Hey y'all, I know it's been a minute since the last time you guys seen me, but I'm finally back. I am back with a huge haul, so get your snacks, relax, because you're going to be here for a while. But the first thing I'm going to show you guys is my Shein package. I had like two huge bags I got from Shein. And I have a lot of goodies to show y'all, so I'm super excited to show y'all. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys is the rings. Now look, I went a bit a bit crazy with the rings but it's okay y'all gonna understand why so y'all are probably wondering why in the world did this girl buy so many freaking rings i just love rings you know for the aesthetic and plus she ain't has such affordable rings so i'm like why not and you know they look really cute in the nail picture so why not might as well okay so the first rings i got i got these like cute like stone rings i don't know exactly what these are called but I thought they were really, really cute. They'll be really cute with like a marble set or so. I guess, I don't know what type of rings these are. But I thought they were just so cute. And the colors, the neutral, like the soft white and the green. I just thought they were so pretty. Especially with a J set. It would just be so pretty. Alright y'all, so the second pair of rings I got were these really, really, really cute boho rings. I thought they were so cute and I've been wanting to do like a boho set in so long. Like I have like the little crystals, like the blue part of the rings. Like I have like actual pieces for that, like meant for the nail. And I've really been wanting to do like some type of boho this summer. Like I think that would just be nice. I think th those are the vibes this summer some boho sets and like these rings will go perfectly with that so that was definitely a good find definitely keeping those This one is definitely have to be my favorite. I just thought it was so pretty. Like, look at that. That is just so cute. I was just in love with this one. So definitely my fave. Definitely a good um, find, like a good set to find. Um, I didn't keep all the rings that I got because some of them, y'all, they were like, they weren't cute. They weren't giving like they should. Um, this set of rings, I believe these were just like some link rings. Oh no, these were some cute like little gem crystals. I love this one right here. This one was so pretty. I absolutely love that one. I just love the color. I don't know what type of color it is, but it is so pretty. That was a pretty pink and white ombre set with some crystals or some 3D flowers. Be really, really cute. And this one was definitely giving. I love that one. And this one was giving like a grayish type of vibe. Be really, really cute. Like a black marble or some type of marble set and these i got these jelly rings i wasn't really feeling them that much and they were hella big like some of the rings on shein be hella 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 big like i was shocked how big they were now with these rings baby i didn't i wasn't i wasn't feeling them i really wasn't feeling these rings um i thought they were cute like the big jewels but they weren't giving for me you know look it doesn't glisten y'all because there's this one ring i got from shein baby, it glistens like it looks fucking real it look it glistens like the only one i liked out of this one was the black the other colors i wasn't really feeling so i ended up returning those because i really wasn't feeling them because they look like they look like toy rings like the crystals look like toy rings they just look like them big like plastic gems and I wasn't really feeling that. I wanted something that was shiny, something sparkly, and I wasn't really like I like the actual rings, but I just don't like the crystals, so I end up returning those. But they were really cute though. It's just the gems weren't giving. Next thing I got, I have um like a ton of those like cluster rings. Um I think that's what they're called, cluster rings. 
But y'all, I have so many rings I got. It was just hard to keep up with all of them. So yeah, I think these are called cluster rings. But they are really cute. I got a ton of these because I absolutely love the way they look. Like this one. So pretty. So pretty in the spring. It'll be so pretty with a spring set. And I also have this cute blue one. It was give very much giving. And I love how the, the blue one, it's smaller and it actually fits really comfortably. Now this one, this is one of my faves that I got from Shein. This is like a, um, it's like an emerald green. And I thought it was just so pretty. And like, look how it glistens. It fucking glistens. Look, it looks so pretty. It looks like damn near a whole real ring. The only thing I didn't like about it, it was huge. Like the actual size of the ring, it was fucking huge. Like, it was huge. So I think I'm gonna have to get like them um, ring bands, like them adjustable ring bands, I think they're called, to make the rings fit on your finger. Cause those rings couldn't even fit on my fingers. And I got some, I got some sausage links, okay? But it didn't fit, but we'll, we'll make it work. And this one, it was a leaf ring. I was, I was confused about it low key. I couldn't figure it out. Then um, I thought to adjust it because like, I don't know, it just looked weird on my finger. So I readjusted it and it made it look better, but I was still a little confused, but it's a cute little leaf ring. It looked way better when I readjusted it. But yeah, way better when I readjusted it. It looks way cuter now. Um, another cluster ring, I think that's what they're called. I don't know. Um, if you do know what it is, comment it in the you know comments. Um, I thought this color was really really cute. It's giving very much rainbow vibes, and I really liked it. And I just love how the smaller ones feel. Like they are so comfortable. And honestly, I really like the small ones kind of low key better. But they're the big ones are still cute. But the small ones, they're just perfect. Like for everyday wear, they're really nice. Now, these rings right here, baby, I wasn't feeling them. I don't know what she in was trying to accomplish with these big ass rings, but I wasn't feeling it. Like, and the pictures they looked really cute, but they were fucking huge. Like it's giving very much children rings and I wasn't feeling that I'm like no like the little wiggly one was cute I guess I guess but yeah I wasn't really feeling them so I ended, return, ended up returning them because they weren't all that cute and I definitely don't think I would be using them and I ain't trying to collect any more clutter cuz I'm trying to declutter my life so yeah i ended up returning those because i wasn't feeling those um next thing i got were these um what are these things called these ring holders um but yeah i got three of them and they're great for your rings highly recommend another like cluster ring i got this one it's gold and like a hot pink it's really really cute Super pretty. I absolutely love them rings. Oh, and y'all, this one. Oh, this one, my favorite. It's a boss. But my boss bitches, okay? Boss, okay? Boss. Look at that. Boss, okay? But I really like this ring. It was really pretty. The crystals in the ring were very, very pretty. None came out. I really like that ring. Um, more pink rings. I, I was trying to find some rings like to go with a nice like aesthetic. There were a lot of cute ones, but then some of them, like I said, they gave children ring vibes. So I'm like, we're not going for that type of vibe.
Okay, so the next ring is this baby ring, this baby blue ring. I just thought this one was so cute, especially like if I do it with like a trippy, a uh, trippy set. I thought it was just so cute. It was just so pretty to me. Um, another one of these like cluster rings, but it has a band. It's not adjustable, but it is a gorgeous emerald green color. Um, is it emerald green? Yeah, it's emerald green. Yeah, I just love those. Those are just so pretty. Um, so I try to get them as in many colors as I possibly can. Um, the next ring. Let's see what the next ring is. Okay, butterfly rings. I thought this butterfly ring was so pretty. Gotta have your butterfly rings. Especially for the spring. You gotta have that. Gots to. And I don't know why I was opening the packages backward. But I don't know why. Another cluster ring. Just a clear one really cute and it's adjustable one i i highly recommend the ones that you can adjust um also for clients you know taking pictures like aesthetic pleasing pictures get adjustable rings get rings that can fit um you know any and everybody hands and i also found these cute like I guess you can say trippy. I thought these were just really cute. Now they are on the bigger side, but they are still really cute. Like look at that one. Isn't that just adorable? Adorable. That is so adorable. So cute. And that'll be really pretty for Pride Day too. I just love that one. That was my favorite. Then they had this little wrap one, this little rope one, not wrap, but rope. And they also had another Pride one. They had some really cute ones. Oh, and the little flower is super cute. So, yeah. They do have some nice aesthetic rings, but then you have to be careful because some of them are huge. They can be really big. Now, these pink rings, I decided to keep them just to have them in my collection. I wasn't really all that crazy about them. No, I did. Uh, yeah, I didn't care for the, that one. But the green and the pink, I really, really loved. The green and pink was really, really cute. Even though they were a little big, they were still pretty cute. Okay, so this little ring set I got, I wasn't really feeling this one because... It was like a lot of the rings that I already had for the other ring collection and also this butterfly. I did not like this butterfly. Again, it was giving very childish ring vibes. Like it looks like something for a kid and I just didn't like it and it was also hella big. I don't, same thing with this one. This was in the other one that I originally had, um, hella big. I don't like, I don't like them hella big, like super duper chunky rings. So I just end up returning those because I just wasn't feeling them. And this one is just like a little cute heart, like a light pink heart ring. I thought it was really cute. And again, you guys, more rings. I was not playing when I said I went crazy with the rings like and with these cluster rings I got so many of them like I just went crazy with the cluster rings literally I was trying to get them in almost every color and this ring oh my god this ring is so beautiful I don't know how I found it but it was just giving it was glistening and it was just gorgeous and that clear in the gold chef kisses and I also got these like, uh, I don't know what type of rings these are. They're giving like maybe 2013, 2012. It was one of those eras. These rings were really popular. But they're cute and I wanted them in my collection. And this set, I really like this set. It was giving very much, you know, 90s. Um, it had um, all, like, the not all years, but it had 1999, I believe, 1995, and 1997, I believe. And they also had some gold link chains. No, 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 no. Gold link rings, I guess you can say. Um, these right here, I absolutely love these. These are definitely one of my favorites. And they just look really, they just look really nice 
on people's hands, like for the pictures. Okay, so this is a fave. This ring is pretty big, but it's really, it's not too, too big, but it was really pretty glistening, and I just think it will be perfect for a spring set. It's so pretty. Like, y'all, look how it's glistening. This is an amethyst ring. I thought it would be really nice to go with an amethyst set. Even though I haven't done one in a while, I still thought it was nice. The cute, like, pretty blue power puff ring. And these yin-yang ring rings. I absolutely love the yin-yangs. I have these in... I have this type of ring in black, pink, and blue. And this ring, I didn't know what was on here. But I thought it was cute. It was gold and pink, so why not? I think that was a butterfly. I'm not quite sure. And then more cluster rings. Yeah, I did not play with them damn cluster rings. Oh, and this is the pink one. How freaking adorable is that? That is just so cute. And then this ring, this cute heart ring. I thought it was mad cute. And then I got this little blue flame. Um, and actually with those blue rings, they all came in one set. So if you really like blue, um, highly recommend. They have those sets like with blue, pink, red, um, green. I, have, I think I have a green set of that exact set. Now this is one of my favorite rings. It's so pretty and like dainty. It's like, y'all just look at it. Like look, look how cute. How freaking cute. Like, oh my god. It's just so pretty and dainty. Like, they need more rings like that. And another cluster ring. I know y'all getting tired of them damn cluster rings because I am, but I still love them. Uh, this one, it has stars. I thought that was pretty cute. Some lips. And I got another leaf ring. This one was really, really cute. I like the curve and I love the, like, like the detail of the ring. It's really nice. And I'm really excited to use that for like a plant like set or a monstera set, I guess you can say. Because I do have the leaves, 
but nobody ain't been getting them and i just really wish someone would get something like that they'll be so cute now i love these these are giving very much i guess 90s like retro i thought these are so cute i really really like these um so i tried to find them as a mini as a mini oh, i can't even talk y'all i tried to find these in many colors as i possibly can but i only could find them in like the pastel colors i couldn't really find them in too many um colors like i wish they had them in neon i did have a i did ha i do oh i can't talk y'all i do have them in white um and then the pastel colors now with this set right here i wasn't really feeling it it was just literally a lot of the same rings that i already had so i was like yeah i'm not feeling it i'm gonna just return these because i wasn't feeling them mm, no it's not giving Alright y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and let y'all finish seeing the rest of the rings I got. I, like I said, I got a ton of them, so I still have quite um, a lot to show y'all. Then I'll show y'all the nail art I got from Shein.
right y'all so we're finally moving on to the nail art my favorite part so the first thing i picked up well not picked up but first thing i want to show y'all are the foils now she in has a great variety for foils so if you're a beginner and you're looking to like get you some foils to practice with or you just want to build up your collection highly highly recommend she in they have a nice variety and they have some really really cute foils
y'all so the next thing i got is the charms i absolutely love me some charms so these charms they're like necklaces charm necklace pendants i guess you can say or bracelet pendants but i use them for nail art so they're like these cute little stars and they have a little mini crystal in the middle you can use these as piercings or you can just cut the little circles off and glue the hoe down that's what i plan on doing so yeah you can use them either or And the next thing I got was these little cute little heart. Um, I guess you can say they're like uh, charms. They're, they were really small. They are really cute though, but they barely put anything in the pack. Like I would say I got probably about 10. So, but they're cute though. I also found this like little mini charm kit. It has like the big heart pearls, like some small cute little hearts. They weren't pearls, but they were really, really cute. Um, they also had like those little resin ones. Um, beads some little circles you know just a whole bunch of random stuff they also had some um, like pearl hearts some medium ones they had bows and they had those little bead things but I guess it was good for the price I also got this one y'all I've been looking for these butterflies every fucking where and I literally cannot find them if I do find them somewhere they're usually in a small quantity um, and they also were in a small quantity um, in this like a little kit, um, kit as well um, it only came with like one of each color it had also some bows a lot of bows got like three bows no four bows too many damn bows I don't need all them bows um, some pearls, um, and that's it. I think some gummy bears. Well, yeah, I'm little gummy bears, but I don't even use those. I was looking for the butterflies. So, that's. I think that's the only thing I'm going to use because I'm not going to use them bows. Like, who be getting bows on their nail like that? Nobody. And I also got another little cute kit, but y'all, I wasn't feeling this one. Eh. I just wasn't feeling it. The crystals in the middle were cute, but like I said, it was too many damn bows. Why the hell are they giving people so many damn bows? I don't know. Like, who need all them damn bows? So I just end up returning it because, like I said, I don't need all that. I don't, I don't need all of that. And I just end up returning it. But I really like those crystals in the middle. But I was like, you know what? I'm not going to keep it just because crystals. Because it's just going to take up space. I also got these cute purple pearls. I thought they were cute. I was really trying to find some pink ones. But I couldn't find pink ones on the site so I found these like cute like lilac I guess you could say and I thought those were pretty adorable And I also got letters. I had no idea they had these letters. Um, and it was for a pretty good deal. I can't remember their price, but I think they were pretty cheap. And you get like basically the whole alphabet, which is pretty good. But yeah, you guys, I'm going to probably stop right here and let you guys um, finish watching and seeing the video. And I will see y'all at the end of the video.
all right y'all so we're finally done with the sheet and all this is the last little bit i got or these really really cute charms i cannot wait to use those especially them black ones they're mad cute oh and the red is so pretty um next thing i got was some stuff from hobby lobby mainly charms yeah i think i mainly got like kawaii charms um pearls for the girls um i had i found these teddy bears now i've seen nail techs use these teddy bears before but what i'm thinking i could do with these teddy bears i also got these cute bunnies they're really really cute but them toes kind of heavy um but what i was gonna do was try to put them on using like the magnet the whole magnet technique so i'm gonna try those and i'll keep y'all updated um these were the pearls i had no idea hobby lobby sold these type of pearls i'm like you get so much for five dollars like this is a steal same thing with these cute heart pearls they're mad mad cute so i definitely had to pick those up if you got a hobby lobby you need to go um they have the regular pearls in different colors um and they have the regular you know white if you just want all white And I got more gummy bears, uh, gummy bears. So I don't know why it sounds like country bears or gummy bears, but gummy bears. Um, these were really cute, like a translucent jelly type of bears. I thought they were really cute, and um, it's really easy to use these, y'all. Y'all just take the gold thing out and pop them things on your nails. That's literally all you need to do. So it's really, really easy. So I love when I find accessories like jewelry accessories and i can just use them as nail art because i've never seen this color before it's like giving pastel jelly and i thought that would be really cute for the spring or the summer all right y'all so now i'm about to show y'all the little jewelry charms that i got from Hobby Lobby and then I'll show you guys the kawaii charms well they're not kawaii charms but I'm gonna show you how to use them as kawaii charms
all right y'all so it's time to move on to the good stuff so these were like the charms i was telling y'all about like the quiet charms so these are actually buttons um they are by by the paper studio um they were 50 percent off when i got these i don't know if the sale is still going on but you know hobby lobby they you know they usually have the sales they're like on and off so if you didn't admit, if you weren't able to catch it this time you'll probably uh catch it next time you know so basically um with these i just clipped the back of the like button part where you're supposed to sew it at i just clipped it with my like um my little nipper thingies I use for crystals and also sometimes with these buttons they have two pieces like with these um, sunflowers they're so cute I cannot wait to use these um, so with these sunflowers it's a two pieces so when I clipped it it came the the brown part came off so what I did was I just used some nail glue to glue it back in so it won't come off but what I would suggest um, is to put the nail glue on first and then nip it because when I did this it was hella messy I got glue stuck all over my skin and the glitter was coming off and it was just real messy you see it was gliding everywhere child ain't nobody got time for that so what I would suggest doing is pl placing the glue on the back before nipping it so it won't go anywhere So yeah, I'm finna demonstrate it now. So basically I put the glue on where the part where you're supposed to cut it off, cut it off. Um, I let it dry for a few seconds and then I go ahead and, and um, nip that piece off because it's way easier. I think we'll, I sprayed resin on it to make it dry faster. So you can definitely do that. And look, no like mess or anything. Um, none of the brown part coming out or anything like that so I highly highly recommend doing that if you have like those two piece little buttons because those can be very irritating um, the next ones I got I got a lot of cute ones they have like y'all I literally got majority um, that was on there I got these cute lips they're really cute I think those would be really pretty for um, Valentine's same, same as these um, hearts those are really cute i got these cute like little unicorns and rainbows i really hope someone gets more kawaii stuff because it's more kawaii sets because this is the reason why i bought it because i really want to start getting into doing kawaii set like i went over i went i went I, y'all this ain't even all the kawaii stuff i bought i bought more kawaii stuff that's on the way i kind of went ham with the kawaii stuff because i really want to get into it like and look at these flowers i just can't wait to like use the stuff for like summertime and this is the very last thing i got at hobby lobby it's not nail related but i just want to show y'all was on clearance they were cute um the next thing i got was um from the nail supply store so i went to this nail supply store in dallas it is called nail plus okay I'll have to get back to y'all with that. Okay, y'all. So, it's called Nail Plus um, Supply Store. Well, it's just Nail Plus. It is a nail supply store. And I'm going to put in a little snippet. Y'all. I'm so glad I came across this nail supply store, especially since it's in the DFW area. It is an amazing, I'm gonna say amazing, amazing, it's an amazing nail supply store. They have so many brands. That's the biggest thing for me. They have so much variety, y'all. Um, and everything that you're seeing here, I got from that supply store. But they have so much variety. They literally have Tammy Taylor. This is the first time ever, well, where I live at in DFW, this is the first time e I ever seen a supply, a nail supply store carry Tammy, Miss Tammy Taylor. I was, I was in shock. I was shooketh. Um 
they sell not polished i was shocked i was shocked when i saw the not polished. i was like i was shocked when i saw the not polished like they got not polished they got even they have some not polished classes i believe or demonstrations um here and there um they sell so many like so much stuff uh not polished tammy taylor they sell chisel and i absolutely love chisel if you ain't tried chisel you need to try chisel um what else do they sell they literally sell so much they have me a secret um who else do they have gosh i can't even think of it now but they have literally so much oh so much brands they have apries not not apries i know i'm pronouncing it wrong appraise i believe that's how you pronounce it correctly uh they have appraise there they have kiara sky jelly tip system um they have dip stuff if you're interested in dip they sell kiara sky um acrylic powders and gel polishes they sell cnd um glam and glitz um they just sell so much stuff like it's amazing how much stuff they sell and also if you like um not polish acrylic brushes and kiara sky acrylic brushes they sell those there which i was amazed because not polish acrylic powders are so hard to find now what did i just say acrylic powders no i meant i meant nail brushes because i bought one in 2020 baby it's still going hard and i haven't been able to find one online because they get sold out so fast and they stay stock with the not polish acrylic brushes which i can't wait to get me a new one i'm trying to decide if i want that one or the kiara sky if y'all have the kiara sky how is it is it good I want me another a new big brush i want me a big girl brush i already have one but i want me like another size 20. but i don't know if they go up to a size 20 with not polish because i'm looking on their site right now and i'm not seeing a size 20 okay but they have a size 20 in kiara sky i might try that i might give that a try All right, so the next thing I'm going to show y'all are these gorgeous colors. So it's by this brand called Gotti. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, correct. I never heard of this brand, but I saw it there um, on an end cap at Nails Plus. And I just had to try them because the colors look so pretty. Like, this brand has some gorgeous, gorgeous, when I mean gorgeous, some gorgeous pastel colors. And I've been looking for a really nice pastel orange, something different, or like a pastel like peachy color. And they had something right up my alley, so of course I had to grab them. Uh, I highly, highly recommend these, um, these uh, polishes. They're really, really pigmented. They are so pigmented. I'm going to swatch these two. But, y'all... Like when you see when me swatch it, like one coat was super pigmented. Like look how pigmented that is. That is super pigmented, pigmented, and it's a nice consistency. Like look, that's a one coat, one coat. So definitely recommend this brand. I absolutely love it, honestly.
also got the create super white and black i love these for drawing definitely recommend i also i didn't get these from nail supply plus but i wanted to compare them um because the brushes are like so short i don't know if that's normal for brushes to be that short they're great um for drawing and pigmentation i just hate how short the brushes are if y'all know any of like the striper gel polishes that have long brushes please list them in the comments below because i've been looking for some because those were just way too short for me but basically these are the swatches for the rose gold they're really really pretty i love these like these are so gorgeous Okay, you guys, I'm about to show you my um, Valentino colors that I got. I mainly just got pinks um, because I've been needing some new pinks in my collection. This one I really don't recommend. It took a lot of coats. It was transparent. Um, I don't really recommend this color. It, it just wasn't working for me. It's a really pretty pink, but it wasn't the greatest the greatest color to work with um the glitters all the other colors were great except that first one i got but this one was a really pretty cute um glitter pink only two coats um i also got this one it's the uh, i believe this is the light pink one um it worked perfectly fine it's a really pretty pastel pink or like a not blush pink but it's a cute pastel pink and i got this really cute lighter glittery one super cute no issues and then i also got the mint green and i didn't have any issues with that one either y'all so i have some more polish to show y'all well first and foremost they sold freaking valentino they had mr david valentino products in the building i was so shocked but they sell valentino there um also they have not polished gel colors amazing amazing like this color it was gorgeous it's a gorgeous nude um they sell the dual packs i believe for 7.99 and if you're licensed in Altec, you get a discount um off the products as well which is amazing and for their products to be their gel colors to be so right, pigmented and, fine and that price is amazing haul. definitely so recommend this is especially the for beginners next um, color I got was got this perfect nude from my um, sky i usually don't get my eye sky because i'm not their polishes um, like they did have a great set. I really like this no, nude. I just it was really nice having nude. sales, but I also got they had clear eight gel um, polished like gold all colors. Gel very polish. pretty. Um, off for seventy percent. I hope I'm saying that right. It was seventy percent off all gel polishes, and I've been eyeing their glow in their dark glow in the dark collection for a minute now. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and go ahead and you know grab that glow in the dark collection up. So I did just that. Um, they have a lot of gorgeous col colors. Um, some of the bottles I had upside down. I don't know what I was thinking. But the colors are gorgeous. I'm going to show y'all how they glow in the dark. And the pigmentation is great. I know people say eye gel is a hit or miss. Um, I know their powders for sure are definitely a hit or miss. But the gel polishes. Like I've gotten a lot of gel polishes for them. And I have no issues whatsoever with any of the gel polishes. Now some of them might be like a little bit like might need more colors than well not colors but more coats than others but for the most part i don't really have any issues with their gel polishes and if you're a beginner and you're looking to build up your collection i highly highly suggest eye gel beauty especially if they have like 70 percent off because like i think i got these bottles for about like four dollars each which is a great deal i believe with the 60 off i think i was going to pay like I would say probably about six dollars a bottle so I guess I say like two dollars I guess 
yeah probably two dollars i believe but yeah i definitely suggest eye gel beauty uh for beginners for sure and with some of the powders it's a hit or miss but yeah you guys this is the last part of the haul and i will see y'all in another video i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like comment and sh sh i can't even talk please like comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next video bye